Do you want to sell your programs on social media, but you don't want to be salesy, you don't want to look stupid, and most importantly, you don't want people to say no. Totally been there. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can make an awesome offer where people want to say yes without looking stupid. Stay tuned. So when I first started coaching, I had no idea how to make offers. I had no idea how to get clients. It was so frustrating and it almost led me to quitting this industry because I didn't know how to do this. So realize that in order to really create influence in the world, you got to learn how to sell. You got to learn how to make offers. You got to learn how to help convert those people that really want to work with you. They just don't know how to do it or maybe they're scared to do it. Okay, You have to learn how to make better offers. And so this has quadrupled uh, my income. It's helped me uh, increase my sales at my events by like 200%. I mean, it's insane what this has done, not only for myself, but tons of other coaches that we've worked with as well inside their business. So I'm going to give you the breakdown. Now, this breakdown is at the end. And so when people says, oh, I struggle with my closing or I struggle, you know, getting people to say yes at my end, you know, what am I saying at the end? Or uh, how is my closing not working? And I go, it has nothing to do with your closing. Okay. And, and that's the biggest thing that I think people uh, think is like, I'm not, I don't know how to close. It's not about closing. If you're struggling during closing, okay, it's what you struggle at the beginning. And if you're struggling at the beginning, okay, it's because your marketing is not on point. And it's because your marketing is on point, it's because your branding is not on point. So ultimately, where everything comes down to is your branding, your messaging. Are you attracting that right person? Because when it comes down to this, it should feel really good for yourself. It should feel really good for the people that are watching and listening, okay, or maybe it's right in front of them, or yeah, you're doing this face to face. Okay, so this for this post though, we're talking about this is on social media. You can also use this from the stage as well, doing an event. But remember, if you're having people constantly say no and you're putting out offers and they're saying no, okay, and I would say it has to be you're converting, I'd say, less than 20% of the people, it's because your branding is off. It has nothing to do with the offer. But we're gonna go over this anyways because this is an important part of what you're trying to do. I have another video of um, how to brand and then also what you're gonna wanna also learn too is how to structure the post. So this is going in the last part of your post, okay? So we dropped our post on social media or maybe it was on a video or whatever. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about who is this, who is this for, okay? Who, who? Now we want to have a polarizing message. This is for who it's not, and this is who it is for, okay? Sometimes we only say it's for this person, but we don't say for it's not. And the reason why people are like, oh, I don't wanna push people away. Yeah, like, yes, you do. <laughs> you do wanna push people away. You wanna make sure you're offering it for those right individuals, okay? Not everyone's meant to coach with you. Not everyone's meant to be your client. You have to say who it's not for, okay? And when you do that, okay, it really gets people to understand like, oh, he's not trying to sell everyone. He's really being authentic, okay? Which is the truth, okay? It's not a fucking sales line, it's the truth. So when people struggle in their sales, they're just not telling the truth and or, and or they're not telling the truth is that they don't, like they don't feel like it's the truth. They just feel like it's a line, okay? You have to really mean what you're saying when you make this offer, okay? Who is it for? Now you go, why are you doing it? Okay, the reason why I'm doing it is because, and so it comes back down to your purpose. It comes back down to your vision and your message, okay, as a coach. And so the more you can uh, signify your why, okay, and the stronger the why is, the more likely a person is able to tap into your heart and want to work with you. Okay, because you're sharing a piece of a heart, you're sharing who you are, you're sharing, you know, your deepest ambition in the world. And when people's why lines up with your why, or they believe in your why, okay, the more likely they are to do business with you. Okay, now the next thing. So we said, who is it for? Who is it not? 
Okay, this is why you're doing it. Now, you're going to talk about the way that you're doing it. So what is the way you're going to do it? So this is get digging into your recipe. What's your recipe that you're applying? Okay, so let's so real estate. There's tons of different ways to make money in real estate. The way we do this is okay, so this is where you kind of start to list the features, okay, and benefits. And then you talk about also the mind and the body. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's the mindsets or the things you're gonna learn, the strategies. Here's the features, and here's how you benefit from that feature. Okay, so we got the who, why, way. Now we're gonna list what is the transformation. Okay, and this has to be two things. It has to be tangible and non-tangible or intangible or whatever the damn word is. Okay, so let's say it's a personal trainer. Hey, we're going to help you feel more confident in your body while you're able to drop 10% body fat. So 10% is the tangible, feel better, more confident is the intangible, okay? So don't always think that your clients just want a tangible thing. In a lot of cases, it's intangible. So make sure you're listing both when it comes down to that, okay? And now the last one, here's what you need to do next. So do next. So I want you to go to this page, fill out your name and number, and we'll reach out to you. I want you to send me a message, and then I will give you the rest of the due. I want you to text, um, text me at this number. So you have to tell them exactly what they need to do. Okay, And when you're doing it right, okay, you should be having a lot of people. If you build up your message, if you build up your uh, group, your tribe, okay, and I talk about that in one video is how to build up a tribe of people to make offers to, and if you're doing that correctly with the rest of the stuff, you should be having people just message you, opting in, going to your next page, your website, whatever it is, like crazy, okay, so, and you have to get good at this, it just takes practice, guys, and the more that you do it, and the more you practice it, the better that you'll get, okay, hope you enjoyed that video, Okay, check out those other videos that I mentioned. Be inspired, be next gen, and I truly believe that the world needs you. Go out there and do it.